Okay, got a couple of requests about uh, how I came up with the, the, the uh, design of the scooter. Uh, actually, if you can see that Batman logo, the scooter was completely stripped uh, as far as the chassis goes. So I was sitting around one night and was watching a, uh, the movie called The Dark Knight Rises, a Batman movie, and uh, I seen the motorcycle and I decided to uh, get a Batman logo on it. And that's it right there. So a little more detail about it. These are three dollar bicycle lights, okay? There's a laser bicycle light, tail lights a bicycle light, and then I put these two lights on the front forks because the Batman motorcycle had two front fork lights on it. And these are acorn nuts that I got from a hardware store. And this is also a light I got from the hardware store with acorn nuts on it. Uh, everything else here is, is my own, actually my own design. These are uh, Pontiac emblems right there, which I made horizontal. And the chrome really comes out with that. And then we have here, these are Browning Chrome Car Emblems from the Browning Gun Company, which I got from a auto parts store. And as you can see, this is where the battery is. There's a lock, locks in the battery. And up here, that is a, a halogen bulb light. I got very bright and the red light was uh, a light that the uh, Batman motorcycle had on his light his I'm um, sorry his uh, motorcycle and there's the horn in the middle these are the brakes and they lock and this is the seat that retracts okay you can push it in and out I uh, mostly like to stand on it and there are little laser lights on for like a tracking thing if you want when you're riding in the dark. But the main thing here in Daytona Beach, what I noticed is a lot of people that are riding bicycles and skateboards and even electric scooters are very dark. Uh, they don't have many lights on it, on their scooters or even skateboards or bicycles and they're dressed in black which why we have a lot of accidents down here in Daytona Beach. And uh, so I decided to really light this thing up. And people tell me they can see it for miles and miles. <laughs> Believe that. But as you can see, and I'm going to put the strobe light on it, <clears throat> on the front. And there's a strobe. Now, when it's completely dark, let me shut the light off here. All right, I'll shut it off again. This is going to be dark. It's in my kitchen, you know. I'm doing it inside. It's not even outside, but you can see how bright that is. Now watch this. Okay. That's really lit up. I mean, if you're in a vehicle or a car, motorcycle, whatever, and I'm driving through a back street, remember, this is not made for the highway. You're looking at sidewalks and back streets and parking lots. It's a lot of fun riding in parking lots, but the trick is when you're riding on the sidewalk, you got to dodge trash cans, bottles, and people on cell phones. They can't hear you. So what I did which I put a very loud horn on it. Let me demonstrate that horn. Okay, that's the, that's the low sound. That was 120 decibels, and this is 140 decibels. I'll hit that. Okay, that'll blow your ears out. That's loud, okay? 
And uh, that's basically it. It took, uh, like I said, it was stripped on. And uh, I just added these lights. I just, you know, actually the whole theme of this scooter was watching a movie one night, sitting around, and I said, hey, you know what? There's the Batman right there. And you can see them chrome logos I got from the company, company DC Comics, okay? I ordered them special, and they're on the back. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm trying to get people to get them, but I think people are cautious if they could ride it. I hate people ride it. People that rode motorcycles, they have a hard time because it's light, it's 90 pounds. You have to learn how to balance. Uh, but it goes. It's a really fun ride to get used to. So that's called the Acton M Scooter, which I nickname now since the Batman logo, I'm calling it the Batman Special of what I did to it and how I designed it.